All right, what's going on, producers, beat makers, samplers, iOS enthusiasts? I think that is much better than saying what's up, people, because we are a different breed. I mean, I don't know any other people who get excited about apps or other people who feel the pain of when a new app comes out, you're thinking, do I really need to buy that one too? Because I already got three of them. So yeah. This video is for us. So um, today I was making a video, as I always do, and I was going to use AUM, I was going to pull up Pure Piano, and it's going to be mostly focused on some MIDI effects. And then I, 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 I had this thought, wait a minute, does everybody use Pure Piano? Because some new people watch me too, and they'd be like, all right, I'm going to try to build up a studio like this random guy on the web. And I don't want anybody to buy things because I have it, because you know, I buy things because I want it, not because I need it. I just want it. And Pure Piano is like a $30 app. So for the next two hours, I'm like searching for free plugins, free apps. And there's a lot. Some are kind of, they're free because they're trash. <laughs> I mean, they're not trash, but they're not, they have no use for me. And then others are just really stripped down. But there's a good number of apps that are free and they're very usable. Unfortunately, there's no free version of AUM. A lot of the MIDI effects, there's no free versions, even though they're pretty cheap. And as far as samplers, I couldn't find the equivalent of Koala, a free version of Koala. So yeah, you're going to have to put something down. But in general, everything else, you could find the free versions and be good to go. So I, today I want to focus just on pianos, because I usually start with the piano sound. And I usually pull up a pure piano. So this is the interface. It's really simple, and I like that. And, you know. This is how it sounds. You know, it's... A pure piano but it costs thirty dollars so next up we have grand piano looks like this this is free now I'm not a, a piano snob I don't own a piano I used to play piano I did have the chance to rent a, a grand Yamaha piano and it was beautiful. The room wasn't acoustically treated or anything, but it was just nice actually playing a real grand piano, playing with the, the pedals and all that. So there is a difference, but within the, the, the iPad, iOS environment, I can't really tell the difference between pure and grand. And it has some, you know, it has reverb. It has stereo. So it has some stuff to play around with, and it's free. Next up, we have Decent Sampler. So this is cool because um, they have a store. Now, I, I know I said I'm going to only talk about free things, but, you know, you can see there's a free... You could see... Uh, let me go. All right. So a Soviet PIF synth free the monica waves is free now this guitar 25 dollars, but you don't have to buy it you could just stick with all the free stuff and if you go to their their website they have even more free things so you can see here i got a bunch of stuff that i got from their website so i'm using the bald baldwin piano So it doesn't have like a whole bunch of stuff, but you know, it has reverb. Attack. That sounds dreamy, release. Now I'm not a piano player. I cannot play to save my life, but I can. play around and 
feel something that feels good. And this is a free app. And the last one to round this out is Numa. So Numa Player is another one where you can let me close this out and pop this open. So you get a bunch of different pianos. So here you can see all types. And guess what? It's free. All right, so right there, you got three, three uh, pianos that are free. These two, these two here, they also have libraries of more free pianos. And you could find one that best, best fits what your needs are. So if you're going for a lo-fi sound, there's probably a thing. Like Decent Sampler, basically anyone can make it. So people who happen to have a... Uh, an old piano in the attic. They sit there and they record it and it's like an open source kind of thing. So now I'm not a good piano player. So what I did is I have a little MIDI file of a jazz piece and we're just going to listen to them. And again, listen to see if you could tell the difference. All right, so we're going to start from the beginning. Grand piano. I think I still got the reverb on. So the levels are jumping because, you know, they have different settings. I didn't match them before I started playing them out. But you could always, you know, raise the volume or turn down the volume and EQ it to your liking. But yeah, so, you know, that's the first part of all this. So I might be using Pure Piano most of the time, but these other three are also an option. I mean, I only found out about the... Decent Sampler and Numa a while ago because I saw it was free and I'm like, is it really worth it? I did pay $30 for a pure piano. Actually, I don't know if I actually paid because I usually buy the apps when they come out and they're on sale. So I don't think I paid full price for it. But if you were to buy it right now, it's $30. All right. So what we're going to do. So you can see I have all these set to A and then. They're all going into this channel and koalas down here. So what I'm going to do, because, you know, I'm a hip hop guy. I'm a sample the piano and I'm going to make a little beat real quick. So let me let me start with Numa at the end. All right. So we got this set up so you can see when it plays. It's going in there. All right. So we're going to hit record. Switching pianos. Let's All right. Let's go pure. All right, let's get a little crazy. We're going to add them all together. Let's see what we got.
about, let's reverse that. Yeah, that's good right there. All right, and it's all together. I probably knew I was going for that one. Here, let me release that. All right, so we got some chops there. And let me make sure they are all in a choke group. All right. And uh, leave that there. We're going to add a drum loop right quick. Um, I never know which one I'm gonna use. I mean, I'm random with it. I don't, I don't be preparing nothing. All right, how about we go with uh, shrooms? Ninety BPM. Actually, I don't know about thirty-two. Might work. Let's see what it is. All right, let's play. A little fast. Really fast. I will kind of have that. All right, we're going to speed this up. That works for me. Let's see what we got here. got to do some volume setting here so we're going to go up in here real quick tools bam so I guess a quick tip we can't undo this but you see how here I'm gonna go over here you see how this wave is all like big right so when you nor normalize back in the day I used to say nominize people used to crack up on me but when you normalize, am I saying it right now? Normalize. All right. But you see where that last, this part right here, because it was already big. And if you look, if you look at the highest peak, it kind of, it, it makes it that highest peak before it's peaking. But it means everything else suffers because they're not even going to get boosted as much. So to prove this, if I were to crop it, and then do that again, nothing happens. Wait, 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 wait. There we go. So now you can see that the whole thing is as big as that last one. When, but anyway, so let's do this over here. So we can see they're all relatively in the same spot. So bam, come over here, bam. Now I did it again. You see how those down there were kind of loud, but we're gonna leave this this way and we're just gonna crop it. All right, we'll just leave it this way. And we'll see what happens here. That good. Actually, I do want this louder. I mean, I could always turn up the volume. But let's just crop it and then this it. So now they're kind of the same playing field. All right, let's play the drums again. Like net 
and then let's bring this down. And if we do a little release on it, not a lot, just just a smidge. got those pieces so we're gonna sequence in koala that's why I love it it's kind of all set to go let's do an eight bar all right so we're gonna set this up a little pre-roll set that to record and we're gonna start with what we did start with and yeah so let's Make sure the metro's on. Okay, let's go. I don't like how that started in this, so we're gonna clear that. I wanna get right at the four, or we're gonna wait to the one. Now that one sound, it kind of cut off a little early so we could take the release down a little more. And we could probably add this tail just in case. Let me see what happens with the whole thing. do next is just so that's my first part and then we're just gonna tag this guy on the end of that we should have made a separate one but it's all right so we got a little 16 bars and our our masterpiece three two one all right let me just pick a random Keyboard, let me go with uh, decent. Rhyming on the beat like. Yeah, so basically what I want to say was, you know, I use pure piano because I do, but use what you can get. And there's lots of decent, I mean, this is called decent sampler, but there's lots of decent apps that are free or cheap. But yeah, so I hope this video helped and um, yeah, be safe, peace, create and enjoy your life.